Virgos, how's everybody doing today? This your girl Anna back with another one from Fly No Look Wings Tarot. I hope everybody's having an amazing and amazing rising. I am. Good afternoon. Good morning. Good night. Depending on where you're tuning in from, what country you're in, I just want to say welcome, welcome, welcome. Let's go ahead, y'all, and we're gonna hop into gratitude. You know, I love to start my day off with gratitude. So let's see what spirit can direct us into improving when it comes to gratitude spirit guys ancestor source creator we just thank you for giving us the patience for giving us the opportunity to master our craft thank you for our employment thank you for our help thank you for protection thank you for financial protection we thank you for not allowing us to feel abandoned we thank you for giving us the opportunity to pull back our energy, to give us new ideas, mental clarity, inspiration, allowing us to expand and travel. We just thank you. Thank you for the things that you're doing in our life. Thank you for relieving the stress and the exhaustion, for removing the burden. We thank you for all these things. I say, I say, I say. I hope everybody's doing good today. Hope everybody feeling good. I rested today. It rained last night, so I rested, y'all. When I said your girl rest good, I was in the bed by 9 o'clock. And it rained. And that's what put me to sleep. I didn't even know it was raining when I went to sleep. I got up to use the restroom about 3, and it was pouring down. And you know, you could tell when it's been raining for a while. When you look out and water start collecting, you know it's been gone for a minute. That's why I slept so good. And I went on in. We're getting a lot of rain lately, so. You know, I love the rain. Definitely a cleansing time. A time to, you know, relax. To retreat. To just chill. That's what I like. So let's go ahead and hop into this gratitude. Spirit guides answer us a source. Show us what we need to see. When it comes to gratitude, Virgo, any placement in the chart, any cross watcher that resonate, show us what we need to see. One, two, we got two inspirations. Bottom of the deck is a reflection. So we have two. Praise yourself for being able to praise, for waking up when you had every reason not to. Some is the dream you had that did not come to fruition. There's a new opportunity to gain with each one we let go. Only with darkness can we find our light. This came up recently. So if it's coming up again, it's time to actually bring this dream to fruition. There's a new opportunity that's going to present itself to your Virgo cross watcher. And it's time to seize that opportunity. It's going to be for expansion. It's definitely going to open up some new doors. The next one we have is hope is the thing with feathers that purchase the soul and sings the tune without words and never stops at all. To feel disappointed is to have not cared. Today feel compassion from your heart and for the gifts of love it offers. So you can forget the injury, right? But don't forget your kindness. So even though if you've been, you know, in a situation where you felt like you done poured into people and they didn't reciprocate, that's okay. That's on them. Karma come back around. Yeah. Let's go ahead, y'all. We're going to hop into Divine Abundance. We haven't uh, read from these Oracle cards in a minute. So let's see. What we get. I'm gonna turn it down, y'all. Turn your click up, dog. And let's see what spirit have to tell us when it comes to divine abundance. Know your worth. Don't sacrifice for people that are unworthy. There's the energetic clearing. Somebody may have experienced the loss. Spirits of the have faith. There's inner power here. Sacrifice keep coming up. 
the companionship. If you're sacrificing too much, it's definitely going to cause you some grief. Work on that inner child. Childhood trauma definitely comes up. Detachment came up. You may have to detach yourself from the situation in order to heal. Divine sources here to aid you with that healing. Have courage. Letting go is here. It's time to let go. People, places, and things that no longer serve us. Spirit said there's definitely going to be guidance here. There's going to be love here. Expansiveness. It's definitely going to be some expansion. And let these people go ahead and catch their karma because karma came up. They ain't going to like it. They're going to be receiving it though because there's receiving. Letting go came up again. Sanctity. Make sure you're working on your sanity at this time. You know, turning that all that energy back to self. And be grateful that certain things didn't unalive you. And that you know that you are definitely divinely loved and guided. Let's see what we get. Spirit guys, ancestors, source, creator, show Virgo what we need to see, spirit. Any placement in the chart, any cross watcher that resonates. So delusion came out first. An inner child. Detachment. Mm. Okay. It's some work that needs to be done here. Anything else you have for us, spirit? Individuality. Knowing who you are. Ease is here. Give us three more, spirit. That's too many. True offerings and love. I need one more. Hmm. We're going to take these. So the first one is detachment. With detachment, you finally feel whole inside. With or without the fulfillment of a particular desire. Ironically, that's often when it's fulfilled. You don't need people to make you feel like you whole or complete. You already whole. You already complete. And if you don't feel this way, it's time to start doing some work. The next one is inner child. Allow me to give compassion and love to that little one. Let me attend to its deepest needs and feelings. See, this is talking about that inner work. Codependency is such a terrible thing. To be needy in a needy position all the time. To rely on people. To take care of you, to aid you, to, you know, emotionally protect you, to provide for you. In the right circumstances, it can be beautiful. In the wrong circumstances, it can be traumatic. So just be mindful. It's self-preservation. And it's definitely going to be a whole lot of self-reflection here. Delusion is the next one. Intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion. Don't deceive yourself, Virgo. If your intentions is not right, if you haven't surrendered, you know, some toxic traits that you have, and you keep moving forward in a direction that you know is going to lead to a dead end, you're only, you know, selling yourself a dream. That's smoking mirrors and dazzling with bullshit. You got to let that go. You got to live in a term where it's going to be beneficial to you, where you can be truthful with yourself. Accepting all parts of you. Embracing the ones that you love and changing the ones that need to change. Individuality is here. Every person has their own personalized study plan in earth school. Oh, I love that. You're an individual. How other people move, that shouldn't even be your concern. So take the focus off of other people and start focusing all that attention on yourself. You create your own life with your thoughts, with your feelings, with your emotions, with your actions. So be mindful to pull all that energy and refocus back to you. You the establishment. It's sun time right now. Ease is here. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. It's easy for me to receive. 
all day long. It's easy for me to receive love. It's easy for me to receive opportunities. It's easy for me to receive good fortune. It's easy for me to, for my luck to change. It's easy for me to receive justice. It's easy for me to go on this new journey. It's easy for me to detach. It's easy. Once you step into uh, an energy like that and release, yeah, it's going to come to you easily because you're not holding on to the outcome. True offering is here. True offering takes what can be an unbearable cross and return it to love. Oh, yeah. Spirit said, if you're holding on to something that may seem heavy, release it. Offer it to the universe. And let the universe cultivate that thing like nobody else can and return it back to you in a loving manner so you can give your grief up and you can get love. You can give your pain up. You can get you can get back love. You get you give up your anxiety, your depression, you know, and get back love in return. Yeah, that's alchemy. What I'm getting so far from the first six cards that we drew today, Virgo Cross Watcher, it's time to actually detach from some things that's no longer serving you and actually do the work on that inner child. Releasing the things that you can't change and definitely putting a plan together to work on the things that you can to become that better version of yourself. And that's what it's about. You have your own study plan in earth school. It's personalized just for you. A lot of people ain't going to see it. They ain't going to understand it. And it's not for you to convince them. You got your own cross to bear. The next one is love. Divine source is the idea that no person, place, or thing is your salvation. Only love itself. Love. One of the highest frequencies, if not the highest frequency. But paired with individuality, knowing yourself. Like being authentic. Not looking for solutions outside of yourself, but tapping into that inside resources and allowing spirit to cultivate your own gifts so you can flourish and complete, you know, your own goals and lessons and lessons in life, you know, so you can have that completion, so you can have that happiness, that joy, the outcome that you desire, that success, that renewal, that hope, that inner clarity, that faith, like, yeah. The next one is outrageous openness. Dear love, open me to your will. Release me from my attachments. Oh yeah, here we go. Surprise and delight me with your plan. You know what's needed and I am open to receive. Look, come on now. First, we was talking about detachment. Now we asking dear love to open us up, to release us from attachments. It's time to let something go. Whatever it is that you holding on to, whatever it is that seems so unbearable, Whatever it is that's hurting you or causing you to feel low or down and out, whatever this is, it's time to release it. It's time to definitely let it go. It's time to move on to a new chapter. You know, we get so attached to people, mostly people. We get attached to places and things as well, material things. But what's even better is to lose it and knowing you could get it all back because these things don't define you. You know, some people could lose it and they'll lose their mind. If you become, you know, rich and hit the, the lottery one day and then you lose it all the next. You know, they got people that are unalive themselves and the people around them because they can't go back to living an ordinary life with or without these things. Just know, release the attachment from it. I don't care if I'm living in my truck, in the projects, or even in a mansion, sitting up on a hill, I'm going to still be me. I'm going to still be me. I'm going to still get on here and do my readings. If, if I'm in my truck and I, I'm, I'm homeless, I'm still going to do my readings. <laughs> I'm going to be me regardless. And that's something that I have really, I've decided that that's something that I, I really want to invest my time in because I really enjoy doing it. So 
with or without these material things, with or without the people that you thought was going to come with you, with or without the support, knowing that individually that you can offer all your issues and all your problems up to the divine and you're going to get love in return, man, ain't no love greater than releasing the outcome, releasing the attachments, and allowing spirit to download that plan into your subconscious. Because guess what? Spirit God's ancestors, source and creator know. Mother God, Father God, know what you need. When other people talk about you, when people want to see you in the worst position, you can't worry about them people. You got to stay focused. And, and releasing the outcome to spirit, knowing that it's always going to work out for your good. Whether it's what you want, it's definitely going to always be what you need. You may need to learn a lesson, you know, a, a lesson in inner power, you know, that courage to, to do what needs to be done regardless. Spirit guides, ancestors, thank you. Show us what we need to see. Virgo, any placement in the chart, any cross watcher that resonates, show us what we need to see. Oh. I like it. I definitely like it. 36 may be very significant. 35, 18. Courthouse is here. Somebody may be expecting a baby. 23, 28. Came flying out a gift. That's definitely going to be a gift that's going to be given. Somebody somebody thinking right now about the community, about a family. 16, 17, 39 may be very significant. Mm. Thirty-seven may be very significant. Eight, thirty-two. All right. Bottom of the deck, 26, great fortune. So let's go ahead and read this out. So they got distant horizons. You may be traveling to a place that you haven't, that's unfamiliar territory. You may have visited this place prior. It's definitely going to be a pathway open where the butterflies is going to lead. Butterflies are here. The birds are here. Butterflies are here. It's definitely going to be a new beginning. The ship is here. It's going to be traveled. Maybe by air, maybe by water. But it's definitely a new opportunity that's presenting itself to you. It's involving a child or something that you're working on, a project that you're working on. Courthouse is here. If you have, you know... Hmm... If you have been separated from your child or children, it's definitely going to be a means that you can be reunited with your kids. Um, whatever this courthouse is, just be expecting that it's going to work out in your favor. You're definitely going to get a gift. So it may not be what you expected, but it's going to be definitely what you needed. Somebody thinking about this, so it may be some deliberation on this. The judge may be thinking about this. You know, whatever, whoever's involved in this dynamic, involving the children, somebody's thinking about gifting you with something. So if you are not with your kids, y'all are separated, you're deaf. Somebody's definitely thinking about gifting you with your children. Be expecting this. The community is here. You have a whole lot of support from your spirit guides, ancestors, source, most high, mother God, father God. You definitely have support surrounded his family. Somebody holds you in high honor. You definitely held in high honor here. On the flip side, there's a false person. It always happened like this. <laughs> it's a false person here that's in poverty. Somebody's plans didn't work out as they expected it to. And then a whole lot of despair. So the tables have turned. It looked like because you took the high road and took this high honor road, 
and didn't try to get even or get back. You allow karma to hit, and these karmic hands is touching everybody that was involved that went against you. You get ready to come again, come towards some great fortune. I love that. I definitely do. Let's go ahead. We got to get uh, messages from the university or spirit has to tell us concerning this. I definitely want to know. I want the tea. Spirit guys, ancestors, show Virgo what we need to see. Once you release this person, that's why all that detachment was here. Once you release this person, when you release this person, or when you when you decide to release this person, new doors or opportunities is gonna open up for you. You definitely gonna walk in a new pathway. The butterflies and birds here, you gonna like it's gonna feel euphoric. You're going to know it's destined for you to be on the path that you're on because spirit is getting ready to show you so many signs that you're on the right path. You're going in the right direction. Spirit, guys, ancestors, show Virgo what we need to see. Spirit, any placement in the chart, any cross watcher that resonates, show us what we need to see. Choice is the most powerful tool you have. Every choice you make shuts some doors, but also opens several doors, bringing new experiences into your life. At any given time, you can change the direction of your life. You are only one choice away. Only you can prevent forest fires. Smokey, only you can prevent forest fires. Like you got to know. You hold a compass and you can change your mind at any time. Change your mind, change your life. Focus on what is important to you. Don't give your time or energy to your worries, as this will only amplify them. Focus on what matters to you most. With every thought, you are creating your future. You want to move? Think about that move. You want a new job? Think about how that's going to feel. You want a new car? Feel yourself in the inside of it. You want a new house? Imagine yourself walking through the door. Like, whatever it is you want, spirit say, Set your intentions, your, your mind, your thoughts, your actions. Feel that thing, and it's going to manifest. It says, I need you to get excited again. I need you to remember you're not in this thing alone. I'm working on your challenges. I've already assigned angels to you. So let go and the stress and just trust me. I've got a pretty incredible ending in store for you. In fact, that's why you need to get excited again, because the happy ending I've got coming is going to rock your world. Man, if that's not a promise, if you got shit for sugar in the past, if people used you, manipulated you, if you allow shitty people to reside in your life and you kept on getting shitty returns, because you release these people, now the wheel is turning in your favor. You getting all these blessings. Spirit is stepping in and say, look, focus on what you want. Once you focus on what you want, I'm getting ready to multiply that thing for you. But choose. Your choice is powerful. Choose to close the door on things that no longer serve you. And I'm going to open and maximize the opportunities that's getting ready to present itself in your face. Psalms 23 say, I prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Guess what? These people are going to be able to see it. They're going to have a front row seat and they're going to wonder how Virgo did it again. How Cross Watcher did it again. That was a pretty thick web I weave for them. How did they get out? Psalms 91. He who rests in the shadow of the Almighty. Now understand, you got covering. Even when they thought you was barefooted naked, you got covering. Next one is, this is your validation that things are finally begin to work out for you. Get ready for unexpected breakthroughs, good news, and plot twists. Blessings are coming. I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited. <laughs> I am excited. I'm elated right now. We, we could be done with the reading right now. Because if you worry, give it up. Give it up for peace. If you're full of anxiety, release it. This is a guarantee. 
that if you make a choice to focus on what's important to you and give your energy and your time and your effort to what really matters to you the most, you're going to create a beautiful future. And it's guaranteed. You got angels assigned to you. Just let the stress go. Let the people go. This is about detachment. I detached from so many people last year. I thought I was going to lose the little marbles I have. Because I had been accustomed to being around these people my whole life. Like, and it hurt me. Especially the family part. The relationships, yeah, I, underst I understood the assignment with those because I learned the lessons, the lessons. You know, I was paying attention to what I needed to learn from it. But the family part, man, that was hard. That was hard. But I had to learn to find all the detachment. And it allowed me to, to see things more clearer. It allowed me to be more powerful. It allowed me to be more courageous. It, it gave me so much self-assurance and confidence. I, I found out who I, what I'm really made of. See, if you're not ever tested or tried, then how are you going to know what you're really made of? If you never go through the trials, if you never go through the fire, how are you going to know what you're made of? See, I've been tested, tried, and certified. You got to go through it. The pain of it all. You can't run from it. Pain builds character. You can't run from it. There's something called tough love. Love is not always, you know, about butterflies, hearts, and flowers. Walking into the sunset, walking, you know, in botanical gardens and, and, and just walking around. Love is sometimes having tough love. Hold up, la mama. Hold up, la daddy. You ain't gonna treat me like that. Let me go ahead and throw a couple of boundaries up. You gonna have to fall back. Give me some. Give me some space. And in a loving way, I decide not to put these hands on. You know, I allow karma to go ahead and and do the fighting and the bidding for me. And once you start focusing on yourself and letting these people go, man, look. These people are already receiving karma. They're outdoors. These people are experiencing poverty. they definitely being recognized as a false person. The mask fell off and then dispel. Mm -hmm. you being vindicated. you being shown the world seeing you as a solid individual. The world being showed that you're a leader. That you're a studious. You know, that you're definitely a patient person. you family oriented. Spirit guides, ancestors, we thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Show us what we need to see from this tarot spirit. Show us what we need to see. I'm encouraged. And I'm excited, y'all. Look, <laughs> you ain't in this thing by yourself. Look, y'all. Your wish is coming true. Look at the nine of cups. Boy, this is wish fulfilled. This is abundance. This is good help. Boy, look, y'all ready to go? I love y'all, Virgo. Thank y'all for every like, every shine, every share, every comment, every subscribe. It means the world to me. Look, we can close this thing out now. Spirit said, your wishes is coming true. Look, you got new beginnings. You got the sword of truth here. You got that mental clarity. You laid down these heavy burdens. You exchanged that, that old, unreliable life for a more stable, secure life. I love that for you, Virgo, cross watcher, anybody that resonates. Like, you laid down these heavy burdens. You put away those toxic patterns. You decided to do that in the work. That's going to change your life. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. With the page of wands, yeah. You decided to take a bet on you. You decided to take an optimistic step into the unknown. You came up with an idea 
that you deserve more and better. And because of that, now you get to celebrate with the Three of Cups. You may be collaborating with new people when it comes to a business venture, something that you're passionate about. You may be collaborating with new people. You got the Two of Wands here. You may have been waiting on these results to come. You may be traveling. You may be celebrating and partying and traveling, booking trips. Look, ain't never booked a, a cruise before. Ain't never drove cross country before. Ain't never been to this place or that place. It's time to go ahead and take a trip, a journey. So these people, guess what? They're going to still be watching. They're definitely going to be watching. But you protected with these Aries and energy here. You definitely protected a father figure. Whether it be somebody that's here or on the other side, you definitely protected. Somebody sees you in high honor. Somebody holds you in high esteem. Somebody ain't going to let one hair on your head be harmed. Somebody feel real strong about you. Somebody going to make sure you're good regardless. And you ain't going to have to beg or ask. Somebody just going to step in and say, you know what? What it is that you need support with. I'm in a situation where I could help. That's how you're going to know it's divine intervention. Because you ain't even going to be the totalist person. Look, and here you go. You don't went into hermit mode. You got the hermit and the emperor here. You didn't actually shine light on, on circumstances. You see things now. You're very more, you're, you're very much intuitive at this time. You went in for mental clarity. You search for this personal truth. You have this new spiritual enlightenment. You recognize the things that you need to change. And you understand it all starts with you. So when you have this mental clarity with this protection, that's definitely, definitely a recipe for success. Yay, you finna celebrate, Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. What else you have for it? Oh, look. As the world turns, you done closed our cycles, baby. Congratulations. Congratulations. You done allowed yourself to complete. Whatever listening this was for you to complete, Virgo, if you haven't got there, you're getting there. The recipe is here to focus on you. To release the worry. Because you definitely protect it. Go in. The recipe is here. Go in and do that, that, that work. Whatever that is. That spiritual work. So you can come out with the plan. With the downloads. The world is here. You completed a cycle. You're getting ready to be lifted. If you fell down. You're getting ready to be lifted. If you felt unstable. You're definitely getting ready to be stable. Because you, re you, you refuse to accept less. You got the Knight of Wands here. Your creativity is flourishing. And because you've changed, your frequency has changed. The people that used to find your address and your telephone number, they're being blocked. They can't find you no more. They can't come towards you. So if there's a, a, a past energy, uh, an immature energy, uh, uh, in and out kind of energy, a uh, uh, opportunist kind of energy in the past. Man, these people block. And guess what? You you inviting in true abundance with this king of pentacles. You're inviting a solid relationship in. A man of work. A woman of work. Somebody that's very resourceful. Somebody that's patient. Somebody that's hard working. And guess what? Some people are going to be up all night. Some people ain't going to be able to sleep. They may have to go get committed. These people are going to need to go to the doctor. They're going to have to be prescribed with something so they can sleep at night because they ain't, they, ain't they ain't getting no sleep right now. These people are having a whole lot of oppression right now. They can't believe that you got out or whatever you got out and you came out on top. They can't believe you. Look, it's like in the nighttime, you've been ushered on, on a new path. It's like you done switch. 
so fast in front of these people like you got teleported into a whole nother dimension. It's like time. You got, I remember telling y'all in the past, you know how on Mario, you find a little warp tunnels. You be on level one and you go through the tunnel, you go straight to level four. Yeah, you got promoted. You closed out this cycle. And because you got the lesson, because you got the information, because you got the experience now, you definitely know what to do with it. So you're being promoted. You're being ushered on into some unfamiliar territory, but you're being protected as you, your children, anything that's connected to you, you're getting ready to be ushered into something that's very solid. And of course, people are spying on you. Of course, people spying on you. Somebody, they gossiping about you. They curious about what's going on. They can't talk to you so they can talk about you. And you defeated these people. Page of swords, five of swords. <laughs> these people moving backwards. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. They in despair. They could be going through poverty right now. And they heartbroken. <sighs> people sad and low. They heavy. They feeling overwhelmed. While you got your back turned and moving on you, to uncharted territories, expansion, the water is here. These people can't even cross to the place where you are. It's like after you left this place, you decide to put up some new constructions. Now you got boundaries and perimeters all around you. These people can't even compete anymore. They don't even recognize who you are, what you worth. If you cost in the past, it's triple that now. You done leveled up. Now you stand in your authority, your emotional authority, your mental authority, your financial authority. You stand in stability alone. But look at the three wines there. The mother, the maiden, the crone. The father, the son, the Holy Ghost. However you see, the spirit is definitely there. Providing you with that support and mental clarity that you need. That teamwork, that travel, that expansion. See, we're talking about moving here. We're talking about motion here. We're talking about healing here. But definitely these people is heartbroken. They definitely want to come towards you with old side offer. With the Knight of Pentacles. They want to come in slow with foolishness. But Spirit said because you done laid down these heavy burdens. <laughs> carrying them. Putting out fire after fire. Support where it's not even needed. Providing resources that's not even appreciated. You moved away from this energy. You say, you know what? I'm laying down these heavy burdens. They too, they too heavy to carry. I'm gonna get excited about me again. I'm gonna remember that I'm not alone, and that I'm working through whatever I need to work through. And I know that Spirit has assigned His angels charge over me, so that my foot will not strike against the stone. I'm paraphrasing, of course. I know I'm divinely protected and guided. That's why I don't worry and I don't stress. I sleep good at night. I may get 10 to 12. It just depends on what I'm doing. I rest good. <laughs> I rest well at night. <laughs> Unless I'm being entertained or doing something else. Other than that, I'm asleep. I rest well. I ain't got no words. Spirit guides, ancestors, what else you have for us? This is your validation. This is your validation that is working out. <laughs> New car, travel, look, ushering in. This is your validation that things are going to finally work out. 
Get ready and get excited for breakthroughs, good news, and plot twists. What you thought was something that was so terrible. The true alchemist turned that thing around. And what you thought was your greatest demise is going to be your greatest blessing. It's going to provide you with so much stability. Stability is very important for a Virgo. You're going to be able to rest easy. Building a strong foundation. Whatever it is that you're working on is rushing towards you. Because you did the work. Congratulations, Virgo. I'm excited. This is such a powerful reading. This is definitely about individuality. This is about love. This is about working on that inner child. Whatever forces try to come up against you, they realize they done fucked up. Now they can't sleep at night. Now they understand that you're chosen. And you have a special place in God's heart. Universe, creator, source, something or somebody bigger than you and I is protecting you. And these people recognize that now. You may have been with an army before, a whole entourage, and they thought isolation was going to be the last nail in the coffin. But now they figure you done emerge even stronger. Now you focused on protecting what's important to you, your peace. With this nine of wands, you're protecting your peace. You're making sure that you're persistent about protecting yourself from any outside force that's going to bring you any kind of stress, any kind of worry, any kind of conflict. These people can't even come towards you no more. Once they revealed your, their hand to you, you knew how to move. Knowing this half the battle. Give us three more, sir. Oh, we're going to take the strength, we're going to take the debt, and we're going to take, well, you know what, let's take them all, because it's telling the story, so we're going to take them. You maintain the healthy boundaries, and look, you done amped up your strength and your confidence, your courage. You're definitely stronger now as a result of whatever you've been through. It may have been delayed success, but because you were patient and you were working hard, Spirit getting ready to send you all the help and support that you need. It's going to be a necessary transition. It's going to be some relocating and some moving. It's definitely going to be some uh, victorious awards that's coming towards you, some recognition, some good news, some success. It's going to be a turning point because guess what? You took a leap of faith for you and you decided to change. I was telling my baby the other day we saw a caterpillar walk and he was like, my, that's a worm. I said, no, that's a caterpillar. And he was like, oh. He was like, kind of looking at it like, ew, that's ugly. And I was like, that's the butterfly though. See, you see the caterpillar crawling, right? On the ground. Come on, I'm going somewhere, y'all. And it don't look like too much of nothing. But see, that caterpillar had to go in like the hermit. It had to really re deconstruct and reconstruct from the inside out. And it was reborn. So this dead card is that metamorphosis. Caterpillars have to really go through and, and go through some ugly events to come out so beautiful to emerge with wings. Come on now. You may have been crawling. You may have been at the bottom. You finna fly. You finna fly again. You heard me? Remember, you finna fly again. You getting ready to surge. And look, here come this past energy. Trying to come in quick with this Knight of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Somebody want to come in fast from the past. Definitely a Gemini here with the lovers. Somebody want to come in past level. Want to come in with some information. And they want to celebrate with you. They want to share these ten of cups that they ain't investing. They want to share a life that they didn't even support. They want to come and reap the rewards of, of something that they didn't toil for. You went through a lot to get where you are. Set them healthy boundaries up. Tell these people, hell no. Because now they feel like they're so in love. And they're so full of shit. 
your great fortune is coming. Don't forget. Don't forget the betrayal. Don't forget the heartache and the pain. You can forget the injuries. You can forgive these people, but don't, don't give them re-entry. It doesn't give them access to you. Because what they did was intentional and it was deliberate. But the only thing they miscalculated and what they fucked up at, they didn't expect you to come out more courageous. They didn't expect for you to come out on top. They thought you were still going to be at the bottom. But you like that caterpillar, you heard me? You may have been on the bottom. You may have hit rock bottom. But the good thing about rock bottom is the only place to go is up. I am so excited, Virgo. I thank y'all for this time that y'all spent with me. This has definitely been an inspiring, encouraging reading today. I don't care where you are. I don't care who did what. Pick yourself up. And just know, it's time to get excited again. This is your validation. So focus on what's important to you. Choice is right before you. What are you going to choose? I have a new car behind door two. I have a whole new life behind door 10. Where it's going to be full of love and total support. Spirit God said, if you got to do this alone, do it anyway. If you got to do it crying, do it anyway. If you got to do it with nobody helping you with the kids, uh, nobody helping you with the cleaning up, uh, nobody helping you with maintaining a car, uh, nobody helping you with the business. If you got to do it alone, do it anyway. That's going to make your testimony that much stronger. That's going to make you stronger because you were able to do it by yourself. Don't despise small beginnings now. I love y'all. I thank y'all for every like, every share, every comment, every subscribe. I didn't expect this reading to be this way. I'm going to go back and watch this reading because I know there's some things that I've said that I don't even remember. But I know I'm excited, y'all. This feel like the golden time of the day. It feel like it's time. I don't know about y'all, but for me, I know it's time. It's go time, Slim. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into this law of attraction and we're going to get out of here. I thank y'all for every like, every share, every comment, every subscribe. It means the world to me. I love y'all. I keep coming back because y'all keep showing up. And I keep showing up because y'all keep coming back. I was out yesterday with my babies. We was at Popeye's and one of the managers came in and he was like, what's that on your shirt? And he read it. He was like, thank you. That was the confirmation I needed. Thank you. You know, he was, yeah, it was my little people. He was like, thank you. Who I needed that. If it getting any better, y'all, I don't know what I'm going to do. That was the shirt I had on. If it get any better, I don't know what I'm going to do because that's what my focus is. I ain't worried. That anxiety try to creep in and try to get me all full of worry and frustration and, you know, that uneasiness. And Spirit said, I got this. I've never let you down. Not once. Even when your back was up against the wall and you felt like there were no other options. I, I made doors. I made ways out of no ways. I carried you when you were tired. I fed you when you were hungry. I've given you downloads to create wealth. I got you. If I had you then, I'm going to have you now. And I'm going to have you forever. That's what you got to trust in. That's what you got to believe in. That got to be your attitude. What else you have for a spirit? Trust. When it comes to the law of attraction, spirit say trust. Trust the process. It's going to work. It's going to work. Give us one more spirit. Opportunity. Trust. New opportunities are coming. I set my intentions and trust in my abilities to improve my circumstances. You got to know. The power is within. Knowing is half the battle. You got to know. Do you know, Virgo, that you have the power to change your life?
It may not start off easy, no. It may start off rough, like the caterpillar. It may start off at the bottom, excuse me, y'all. It may start off at the bottom. Oh, but when you fly, my dog, when you fly. Oh, my. Them haters gonna be mad. They mad now. They mad that you ain't outdoors. They mad because you still eating. Because they ain't want to see you unalive like my Uncle Jay used to say. They just, they won't see you eat. They want to gin the worst way. Oh, but Spirit said, this is your validation today. I need you to get excited again. Get excited again. And focus on what's important to you. Because guess what? Opportunities going to present itself to you. I am always ready to take advantage of opportunities presented to me. Get ready, Virgo. This is your opportunity. Be courageous. This is your opportunity. Great fortune. However you need it to come. It's coming towards you. And they also got some fuck some fuckery and bullshit coming too. But you know what to do with that. Because you got healthy boundaries set up in place. Access denied to anything that didn't help build this structure. Leave the ass out in the cold. I love y'all. Thank y'all for every like. Every share, every comment, every subscribe, it means the world to me. This your girl, Anna, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.